powerful name of all, the most lovely. And we come, O oh God, to meet this day in his holy name. And in his name we pray. As you have already found out, we have no sound system this morning. So, you're going to have to listen better than you usually do. <laughs> Open them up so you can hear. I am. I'm talking louder. <laughs> well, we're glad to see you. Glad to have you this morning. We've got a lot of guests this morning. We're just glad you're here. And we pray God's blessing for you. And today, as I've said before, and for, at least for today, we are family. We're glad you're here. We have some wanderers, some happy wanderers who have returned to the fold. Uh, Dale and Carol Talley have been gone for quite some time. They've had a great trip and they're back and we're glad to see them. Good to have each one of them. And the, the Hackneys, back row Hackneys again. We, those seats have been vacant for what? That's what I told them. Yeah. Oh, we're glad to have you all back. Well, welcome to this morning. We're, we're going to do a lot of things a lot differently this morning. And, and I was talking with one of these young men up here in the front. He asked me, how, how are things here at this church? And of course, I wanted to know what he meant. I said, well, today is going to be quite different. We're going to have all music. And we'll have some good reading. We'll pray. I mean, we'll be some of the same things. But we're going to be singing together. And then I told him, I said, you're going to have to come back next week to see what the real thing is. <laughs> so we hope you'll come back and, and be with us again next week. So what we're going to do this is that we're going to ask you to tell us what songs you want to sing. We have the first one already, already labeled in the bulletin. And the first request has already been made. We're going to do that. And then we will sing three songs in each one of those. And we have a lot of special music. We will sing two verses of each hymn, just kind of because there's there's going to be 12 hymns and we're going to have a lot of time together. So, first and last or first and Well, uh, I, you know, I thought about that. First and last, first and second. Um, then I thought, well, if you have two favorite verses, tell us and we'll sing the two verses that you want to sing. You're going to have to shout out, though. Yes, Frank. Carl, try your mic. Find my mind. Now, don't tell me prayer doesn't work. <laughs> I know our sound crew and 14 others have been praying over the, mic, the sound system. I would ask you to tell us what happened, but you can tell us later. So, well, good. I can slow down and talk a little quieter. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So uh, it just keeps that in mind. Now, after worship time, we're going to need some of you able-bodied folks to help us put chairs around the tables. So when you get through, when we get finished with our worship time, if you'll help us do that. James, where are you? James Ferguson over here and Steve uh, Fisher out there, I'm assuming are over here, out there, over here, wherever he is, getting out here. Getting, getting ready for lunch. And we hope you have gotten the message that today is burgers and dogs and James and Steve are fixing those for us. And all you had to do is, and, and then the tallies uh, have, have done the desserts, uh, celebrating her, her birthday. And uh, so, so you just, whatever there is to eat, we're gonna eat it, okay? So hope you'll stay for lunch. Any other announcements that I've missed? We've got, we've got the, the ukulele choir. We've got Emily Rhodes, who is on the cello. We, would, we would, weren't for sure we were going to be able to have her. Glad you're here. Thank you so much. And um, James and ukulele choir, thank you all so very much for, for being here this morning. Let us uh, begin our time. And I'm going to have to stick close to the bulletin because it's, you know, when it's different, I forget. But our first hymn is 145. 
and we'll sing the first and the last verse. Let's stand as we sing. because yeah it's on okay so if you all will go ahead James Thank you. 
Choir rehearses every Wednesday at 5:30. If you'd like to be a part of that August group, all you got to do is show up. Of course, you got to have a ukulele too, so keep that in mind. Let me share with you scriptures, just some scriptures for today. Acts chapter 16, verses 22 through 25. Paul and Silas had just had the, the temerity to speak up in the name of Jesus. And they rose up against him, them. And the chief magistrates tore their robes off them and proceeded to order them to be beaten with rods. When they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to guard them securely. And he, having received such a command, threw, him, threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. That's a good sound. Doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, I know it's mine. But, <laughs> but it wouldn't matter whose it was. So here we have Paul and Silas, beaten, bleeding, severely injured, thrown into the deepest, darkest, dangest dungeon that there was at the time in Philippi. What would you have done? Oh, Lord, it hurts. I didn't know it was going to cost me this much. I don't know if I can go through this anymore. Any way you can get us out of here? That's probably what you and I would have done. But listen to what Paul and Silas did in verse 25. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Now, wrap your mind around that. They were singing the name of Jesus. They were singing the Psalms. Those were the hymns of the Jewish people. They're bleeding. They're, they're, they're in stocks. They're, neither their hands nor their arm nor their, nor their feet are free. And the position that they're in physically is most uncomfortable, even painful. And yet they are singing. There's a word to be made for singers and singing. And then over in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, let the word of Christ richly dwell within you with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness to, in your hearts to God. Singing is a Christian pastime. Singing is part and parcel of who we are. That's all I'm going to say. And that's part of the reason why we're singing today. So now I want you to turn to page 261. That request has already been made. And we will sing. The Lord of the Dance. Maxine, you got any two verses you want to sing? Just two? For one and two? 
Okay, verses 1 and 2. Let's stand as we We sing a whole lot better, folks, when we're standing. I promise you.
And I would and ask the choir uh, if you would come be, during this one, if you will come and be taking your places in, in the choir. So they're going to share with you. And I would share this with you too. You may not be familiar with all the hymns. You may not even be familiar with any of them as far as that goes. But God, the reason we sing is because God has put a song in our heart. A song that is full of life. A song that is full of joy. A song that speaks of the, God, the love of God. And so, even if you don't sing, and I encourage you to, but even if you don't, you follow the words and let the Lord speak to you through the song. Any particular two? One and three. One and three. Verses one and three. Okay?
James Jordan. There are going to be some solo pieces. I turn my back on. I'm sorry. Uh, Jan is going to uh, share a piece with us on the piano, accompanied by her daughter Emily. Or maybe Jan's accompanying Emily. I'm not sure which, <laughs> which it is. it is for us to abide in Christ and him in us and for his word to abide in us. Amen. All right. We have a, time for another selection. We'll take three at a time. So you got a number. What? 77. 77. Hmm. How great thou art. Yeah. Everybody knows that one. Which verses? First and last. Let's stand as we say Amen. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what let's do. We'll sing the first and last verses and then Elizabeth and Emily will play it one through one more time. And hang on just a minute. Jan, could we have a little more volume on the piano? Just a little bit. So we'd be sure you hear both both instruments well. Okay. First and last. Okay.
Amen. Someone else. 593. <laughs> now we'll have no fighting in the congregation because it's on selection. <laughs> 593, verses 1 and 3.
with us this morning. Anne Marie is somewhat new to our church family and when we discovered that she could play the piano we decided to get her to do that as often as possible. Thank you Marie.
part of what we're doing today is sharing in the gifts that God has given to us. We, we can't celebrate all the gifts specifically, but to recognize that God has gifted us, some, some with the gift of hospitality and the preparation of food, stuffs, some with uh, the gift of being able to share the word uh, and in what God is doing in their lives, and certainly the gift of music. You know, not all, in my opinion, is not all the gifts that God gives to people are listed in the scriptures. And music is one of those, on, although it's not listed as one of the gifts of the Spirit, but it is certainly a gift from God, and we're seeing a lot of that this morning. And the gift to be able to sing. You hear me? That's a gift from God, and we're glad you're sharing it. We certainly do not want to miss prayer, and so we have our, our prayer time, and if you have prayer requests that you have filled out, and if you'll hold those aloft, so what, 360 something? 378. 378. Which verse is Vance? Since you said it that way, could I suggest the first and the fourth? Okay, let's stand as we sing. Yeah, we'll ask Hazel to share with us first, and then Mark will come up and share. Hazel uh, plays the auto harp, and I've only known one other person, maybe two other persons, who, who play the auto harp, and she does very well, and we just appreciate her, her gift so much. Ready?
sunshine is gone. Hazel. Mark and Donna are fairly new to our congregation and we found Mark could play the piano as well so we're going to hear from Mark. One of the great gospel songwriters of the 20th century was John W. Peterson. Uh, during World War II, he was a pilot stationed in Burma, and his mission was to fly over the Himalayas to resupply the nationalist Chinese forces who were fighting the Japanese. At the time, the Himalayas were largely uncharted, and over the course of the war, the Army Air Corps lost 900 planes over the Himalayas. But as John would fly on his missions, he would see the starry night, he would see the mountains laid below him, and he would marvel at the miracle of God's handiwork. That inspired his signature song, It Took a Miracle, and the one I'd like to play, I Believe in Miracles. So I'm going to play a John W. Peterson medley together with Jesus is Coming Again. When uh, Donna and I were new Christians, the church we first attended in which we were married, they would end every service by singing that chorus, and the sheer wonder of that promise and that hope has never left me. So I believe in miracles, and Jesus is coming again.
And I, I would almost say we've been blessed enough today, but uh, we haven't. And we've, we've already been uh, through. I want to ask, we'll do one, one more selection from the congregation and ask Jerry Joyner and Ken, Ken Karn, Zarnicki to come. Uh, Karen Reese is not here today. She was not feeling well, and so she's at home. So we'll hear from, we'll hear from Karen a little bit later. We're going to sing one, take one more selection, then have Jerry and Ken take another selection, and then we will conclude our time together. So one more selection. Four hundred sixty-two. Which first and last verses? Let's stand as we sing. Please be seated. Jerry and Ken, come and share with us. One more selection. 298. Two 
Any particular verses? One and four, okay? First and last. So stand and we sing, and this will be our last selection. with so much gift and talent and, and sharing today. And, and the, the large, I don't know if the larger gift, the larger gift is the presence of God in all of this. He has gifted each of us in some way, in some fashion. And I cannot tell you how important your singing is as a church family to the, to the benefit of the church family. What all, you all have done great. Just sounds wonderful. Got to tell you the one last story that I've told you before, but several years ago, and this has been four or five years ago, we had a man come in who was a guest that Sunday morning. When he left, he said, I've never been to a church where everyone sang. And it's just gotten better from that. We're going to have our prayer of benediction and blessing for the meal. We need some help putting chairs around the table. Please stay. We have burgers and dogs and a lot of fellowship to share. Let's pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the giftedness that you have graced us with this morning and throughout all of our lives. As we leave from this place later on, we ask that you simply accompany us and give us voice to the song that is in our hearts. We ask your blessing now in our time together around the table. Bless our conversation, our fellowship together, and the meal that has been so graciously prepared by our friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I'm going to ask you, when you stay, try to sit with someone that you don't really know. God bless you.